When it comes to skill, you want to look natural yet radiant. First up, we're going to waken up those tired eyes. So using a salmon color concealer, we're going to neutralize the purple and blue areas underneath our eyes. And also go in the inner corners where it tends to be darker. And then blend away with either a sponge or a foundation brush. Work the seam with your other eye, fall in seam motion, and don't forget your eyelid. And then I apply liquid concealer to the shadows and red areas of my face, such as around my nose and my mouth. And as you can see, I'm applying in a triangular motion. This not only conceals shadows, but also makes your cheekbones stand out. And of course, conceal your blemishes. So now I'm going to skip foundation and powder because we're going for a light application, but if you need more coverage, go ahead. Your eyebrows are very important. It highlights and frames your face. So now I'm going to take an ashy brown colour and you want to start in a corner of your eye and then just gently fill in your brow area. And you want to go in small gentle strokes, just filling in sparse areas. And again, we're going to stick to one colour for a natural look and work the seam with your other eyebrow. Instantly grooms you right up. By applying a light reflecting base, it will brighten up your eyeshadow and your eyes. So now taking MAC next to nothing, a light eyeshadow, I'm going to apply a wash all over my eyelid. And you want to go all the way up to your brow bone. Because our eyelids tend to be thinner, it can look slightly blue or purple. So we're going to combat this. Now I take an earthy eyeshadow and you want to run it with a blending brush in the eye socket of your eye. And we want a subtle shadow, nothing that looks too much, just a little bit of depth. Blend off with a large fluffy brush. I'm only going to line my upper lash line for a clean fresh look, so again, working outwards. You want to go as close to the lash line as possible in small dabbing motions. Keep the eyeliner nice and thin. Wing the eyeliner out slightly to waken up those tired eyes. Curl and mascara your lashes. To give my complexion a natural flush, I'm going to apply a light pink blush. Apply it to the apples of your cheeks and blend. Now for my lips, I like to have colour because it brightens up a dull face. And I'm going to use lip tint because it's longer lasting and seal it up with some lip gloss. And you're ready to go. Have a wonderful year guys.